The city of Mosul sits in this desert valley, its suburbs clearly visible from these hills. Kurdish Peshmerga troops have been hauling cannons up here while the Iraqi army takes up position along the front line held by the Islamic State group. They are the soldiers due to lead the great offensive on Mosul in the coming weeks. They have the greatest resources and currently sit 50 kilometers from the jihadist stronghold. Constant fighting over the past few months now finds the Islamic State group surrounded in the city. The Kurds are positioned to the north and east of Mosul, while the Iraqi army is coming from the south. The U.S. has helped to train these soldiers, especially at Makhmur, where 600 supplementary troops are due to arrive in the coming days. France has also sent four artillery cannons to El Qayyara, which sits 65 kilometers from Mosul. This air base was taken back from the Islamic State group in August and will serve as a crucial logistics point. Meanwhile, Mosul itself and its estimated one and a half million inhabitants wait to be reconquered, a campaign expected to be long and dangerous to cover Mosul's 200 kilometers squared. The Iraqi army already took two months to clear Ramadi and a month for Fallujah, two cities a lot smaller than Mosul and filled with booby traps. Soldiers went from house to house to clear out Islamic State fighters. The other major issue is working out how to minimize civilian casualties in such a densely populated area. The United Nations is preparing for a large exodus of the population. Up to 700,000 people could flee the city once the assault is launched.